Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're talking about High West and their American Prairie Bourbon. This one is a barrel select program. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you give us a little information about this particular High West? All right. So this is the High West Whiskey, the American Prairie Bourbon. As you can see, it's a barrel select and it comes with this cool thing. Look at it. It makes noise. Sorry for any of you that are wearing headphones. 2018. This is borrowed from our buddy Pete. Thanks, Pete, for letting us borrow this. Thank you, Pete. All right. So this is a limited release. This is barrel 10,193, bottled for High West fans of, of Texas. The finish time is 11 months in a scotch barrel. So very cool. All right. So, and again, this is a special one, and we're going to compare it to the American Prairie. We'll get you a full review of the American regular one at some point. All right. So like I said, this is 11 months. And this is 102 proof, so I like that. Uh, it's named for the American Prairie Reserve in northeastern Montana, and its goal is to be the biggest wildlife reserve in the lower 48 states. It will be 5,000 square miles when it's finished, and it's bigger than Yellowstone Yosemite and the Grand Tetons combined. It's a wow. massive national park. Goals basically look like what Lewis and Clark did when they were going through the mountains back in the day. So that's pretty cool. All right, and you know when they were traveling with uh, what's her name, Sacage, was it Sacagawea? Whoever traveled with them. One of those. I don't know. Some of the Indians. I don't remember. doesn't matter. Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think it really did matter, but... Well, yeah, otherwise they'd be lost and, you know, they'd be dead and no one would give a shit. And that would end up with Clark. But, you know, hey, whatever. I know it would sack it to you, but whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> they saw herds of bison, uh, pronghorn, antelope, and prairie dogs everywhere, which, that's cool. Prairie dogs are fun. Like that whack-a-mole game at Chuck E. Cheese. It's fun. Anyway, the, the, the pronghorn antelope is the fastest land animal, go up to 55 miles per hour, has the largest land migration in North America up to 500 miles. And they are, they have a pop there, but the population is down 98% since the 1800s. So, you know, but hey, I didn't know antelope that being the second fastest animal could run 55 miles. That's pretty cool. Watch this big ass antelope run around. I want to see a big antelope run around. Sounds like fun. I mean, that's what that thing is. It kind of looks like a jackalope, but it's an antelope. Look at the zoo map. <laughs> I understand that. The zoo is not the same. I want to see it run around at 55 miles per hour. Go to Glen Rose. No, that's true. Still. Still be fun. Either way, I have problems. Anyway, so this is, this is 102 proof. It is a blend of straight bourbons between 2 and 13 years old. 75% corn, 21% for rye, 4% uh, malt of barley from MGP. And then they also add 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% barley. They say from undisclosed really, well, there's only one distillery in Tennessee that uses that. It's called Dickel. So if you know that, that's what it is. It also has some other components that cannot be disclosed because of an NDA and they use new charred American oak. So, you know, hey, guys, we can memorize mash bills. Just want to let you know. I think it's funny, though, that you try to cut. There's only one distillery that uses that mash bill. Uh, anyway. Just for the viewers at home, I would like to clarify, whack-a-mole, you are whacking a, a mole. mole. It's not called whack a prairie dog. It's the same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> they're like little cool things. They pop up like, oh, you ever seen a mole? Yeah, the moles are tiny little ugly things. Yes, you're right. Her dogs are like going to keep as a pet. I remember her dogs. Dog There's a difference. They, they're quite now, a bit. We've clarified. Yes, prairie dogs are bigger. I'm aware. <laughs> and they're much cuter. Yes. But I still oh, always think of the prairie dogs. The little holes are everywhere, and it's just, you know, they're fun. It's because you can't get past that tickle. I can't. Note. I can't. I, I. I. found it automatically, man. Like I don't know if it's because you told me it was there or if it's cherry, vanilla, and Flintstone, earth, and dang, and nougat, <laughs> and so much dickle. Peach, nutmeg, mm -hmm. cinnamon, antique shop, worn leather, orange. I can get, peach. I can get worn leather and get cherry carnation. Mildew. Instant breakfast. Weird. Yeah, like that vanilla carnation instant breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Those are chalky. tasty, chalky, mushy chalky. things. Yeah. It really does smell like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> there's a chalkiness to this that's absolutely it's dickle. And it's in and I, I want to call it that that Flintstone vitamin dickle. That's yeah, in it's in here. But there's definitely, but is it is also it's the carnation, the flower. Yeah. Okay. In here. That's what you meant. That's what I meant. But she's right. The powdered milk thingy is in here too. The trinky. Powdered milk thingy. Whatever that crap is. You right, know. I'm gonna try it. I don't know. Mm. 
Okay, so on the front of the palette, it's Dickel. Yep. It's right there. And if you know what we're talking about, we're sorry that we ruined it for you. It's still good. <laughs> huh? it dick it's still good. It is dickly, though. <laughs> it's, it's very, very Flintstone vitamin to me. It's And that's all I can pick up. Um, um, there's more happening. I got my the cherry. sensations are just focused mm -hmm. on that one thing. I'm going to go back in again. I got the cherry. I got the brown sugar, the vanilla. I got, you know, those the, the normal notes that you would get. But Orange, black pepper, oily. There's slight, slight black pepper. It is oily. It's got a good mouthfeel, and the proof is wonderful. Yeah. It's um, just getting... Condensed milk, the carnation yeah. there. It, yeah. It's in the taste, too. And the same thing in the flowers there, too. Um, butterscotch, caramel, toffee, burnt sugar nutmeg allspice but man that tickles so prominent in here it's so prominent and the second time i went in i actually the 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 cherry note turned into like a cherry chalky flintstone vitamin flintstone vitamin totally does or even if you want to go close yeah. to like a tums yeah that calcium that chalky yeah chalky calcium that cherry chalky calcium it's it's okay i'm not saying it's bad it's not, it's not straight bad. dickle. It's just what it tastes like. Yeah, it's not straight dickle. There are people out there that just hate dickle, hate dickle, hate dickle. But this has, um, yeah, that's him. Except for that one. <laughs> I found one that was. Yeah, that, that, the 11 year. 11 year. The 11 year. Delicious. Because it doesn't taste like the regular dickle. Right. I don't hate dickle. I just find that this, it's just what it tastes like is the vibe. It just does. Right. I like there it. Are people, what it tastes like. There are people that just flat out hate it. And and they're not even going to try this because we said yeah. something about Flintstone vitamins. But there is more going on in the glass besides oh, yeah. the That's just a prominent note. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's but if see. you're like me and you can't get past it, that's why yeah. you have to point it out. So let's compare the regular American. No, so we'll give you guys a full review on this one. Uh, the regular American Prairie. This one's 92 proof, and there's no finish on it. It's just the regular one. I get orange on the finish on that one. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. This one has more cherry in the nose. How different this is. It and less does, chalkiness. It does have more cherry in the nose. Whoa, like way more cherry. Way I, more cherry vanilla. It reminds me of those Luden's cough drops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little, yeah, it's even got that little bit of medicinal with that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Actually, vanilla. This one smells more just down home plate of bourbon territory. like that um yeah. menthol, a little bit of menthol it definitely smells lower proof as well though more seems to be more caramel and toffee in this too mm -hmm. and the dickle doesn't seem as prominent no which is interesting maybe it doesn't amp up the proof on the previous one and maybe that's why i still get it on the nose it's, still it's there but it's as not as overpowering dark. Give it, a, give it a taste. I give, I get the ah. cherry. I get the menthol. It's there on the taste. It, it to me again, it just goes oh. right down that dickle category, right mm. down that dickle path. Um, yeah. I, again, there's more cherry to this than dickle typically. Way has. more cherries. Way more vanilla. Yeah. Or scotch. Right. There's more, it tastes more like regular bourbon. Yes, this doesn't taste like a straight dickle, <laughs> but. It, it it has yeah, dickle sorry. in it. It's definitely I'm sorry. a dickle product. It's not for me. It may be for a lot of people. It's not for me. Um, for High West, I think the rise are significantly better. I mean, just in general, that's always been the case. So I think the reason they only make one bourbon is because of that, that they excel at rye and not – it's not a bad product. It's not. It's just not my favorite. Um, like I said, we'll get the full one and the regular one, but yeah. Fine. I prefer. I do prefer still the higher proof because I like high proof, and I think it's a little more going off with that Scotch barrel finish. I think it's significantly better than the regular one, but it's more interesting. Is it, the regular one just seems kind of boring per se. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, hey, you gotta what's start my price point on this? Uh, I know we got we borrowed this from Pete, but yeah, this one's fifty dollars for the barrel selects. That's just the regular price range, and a barrel selects are fifty. And then this one, I think, is thirty five for the regular American bourbon. So I, I think you're probably better off. Paying the extra 15 bucks, get the barrel select. They finish in all sorts of wild things, though. 
yeah. which is cool because they have like you know rye barrel finishes, muscatel, all seen all sorts of kind of wines. I mean, so they do make some cool products, I mean, and maybe a different. I mean, like the Scotch Barrel's not bad; it's it's good on there. I would be interested to see what some of the other different finishes are and see Did if they, they give us any information besides Scotch Barrel. No, I mean, I that could be a Scotch, no, I couldn't that find could be a Scotch it could Ale. Space side, it could be. A, yeah, it it could be I would guess it's a space side just because the, of all the fruitiness in there. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not peated because if it was peated, we'd know. I'd know. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, it's just not, you know, it's not show filter, which is always a plus, obviously. But, uh, you know, hey, it's good. It's not amazing. Um, I would probably go for the other barrel selects of their double rise instead, personally. But, hey, if you like this profile, great, fine. I think you'll like it a lot. Just, you yeah, know, if you like Dickel, you're going to freaking love this then. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. If you like Dickel, do you want to pay double the price for somebody else doing Dickel? This has more going on than just straight Dickel, though. Yeah, it's more interesting. Okay. Plus, they're Agreed. much lower proof. So, yeah. No. All, All right. right. Don't well, forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time, keep on crusading better whiskeys in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Keep on crusading for less tickle in your glass. <laughs> <laughs>